in this video i want to show how you can change from the log form to the index form and from the index form to the log form so let me first write the definition of log form and the index form or what's the how you can change from one form to the other so the definition is like this if b to the power x is equal to y now this is called the index form or the exponent form this is called a double implies arrow so this can go from this to the log form so this is log base b of y uh, of y is equal to x this is how i write and remember now this is how i when i have a log form you can all of you should be knowing what's the index form but when it comes to log form, I always read like this, b to the power x is equal to y. This is how I read. So let me give you an example. So what does this mean? So you know 2 to the power 3 is not 6. This is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. So this is called the index form. And if you want to write this into a log form, so let me put arrow like this. So you can go from year to year or year to year. This means log... I'll start with base 2. See, one thing that you, should, you can see very clearly, in both these forms, the base, this is the base of the index form, and this is the base of the log form. So the base of both the forms are equal. So when I look at the bases, they have to be same. So that's why I start with log base 2 of 8 is equal to 3. And I always read like this, 2 to the power 3 is equal to 8. Okay, so let me take one more example. Say 2 to the power 5 is 32. This is the exponent form, so I can put the arrow like this. This double implies log base 2 of 32 is equal to 5. So 2 to the power 5 is 32. Okay, now if suppose it is 10 to the power, negative 2 is 0 0.0, 0 point, this is 0 0.01. I'll explain this on a calculator first. Okay, then I can explain how to do without the calculator. So if you go on your calculator, if you press 10 raised to negative 2, that's 0 0.01. Now, how do I know that? This is, I don't remember these results. Just to explain this separately. 10 to the power negative 2 actually means 1 over 10 squared. 1 over 10 squared, which is, let me scroll down. So, this is 1 over 100. Now, I hope you un understand 1 over 100 is 0 0.01. So this is an index form, and if you want to write this into a log form, this is, this double implies log base 10 of 0 0.01. We'll check this on a calculator. Of course, base 10, you can always do it on a calculator. Log base 10 of 0 0.01. My pen is not 0 0.01. 0, 1 is equal to negative 2. Okay, so let me show this on a calculator. You should be know that log has a base of 10. Okay, so when you write log base 10, you're talking about this key on the calculator or this button on the calculator. So if you press log of 0 0.01 on your calculator, it will give you negative 2. Okay, and that's what you see. 10 to the power negative 2 is 0 0.01 okay now what happens if suppose uh, we have the log form and we want to write this in the exponent form okay so let us do some example suppose it is like this log suppose they may trick you like this i if it is given like this 3 is equal to log log 125 to the base 5 this is how you read or log base 25 of 125 I like to write this like this this is or this is implies or this 
can I write like this? This is log base phi of 125 is equal to 3. This and this are the same. So this is the log form and I want to write this into exponent form so I'll do the double arrow like this. This is nothing but phi to the power 3 is equal to is equal to 125. There's an alarm that went off for whatever reason. So let me do one more example, a few more examples. So let me use a blue color. Suppose it is uh, log base 4 of 64 is equal to 3. So this is the log form. I want to change this into exponent form. So this is the bases have to be the same. So 4 cube is 64. Okay. And does it make sense? You can use a calculator. 4 raised to 3 is equal to 64. Okay. Let me do a few more examples. So let me scroll up. Okay. Suppose you have got a bit difficult form. Log of log base root 2 of 16 is equal to 8. So the base is root 2, so I want to write this into exponent form. So this means root 2 to the power 8 is equal to 16. Now you may not understand how, how can root 8 to the power 16 is equal to, we can do this on a calculator, but without the calculator, this is root 2 is nothing but 2 to the power half root 2 is 2 to the power half, I'll explain that, raised to 8, okay, which is equal to, uh, when you have got power of a power, what do you do? You multiply the power, so this is 2 to the power half times, uh, half times 8, half times 8, which is 2 to the power, half of 8 is 4, which is nothing but 16, and that's what we said, root of 2, to the power 8 is 16. But if you want to do in a calculator, if you're lazy like me, suppose you go shift root 2 raised to 8 is equal to 16. Okay, so let me do the last example. Okay, with a different color. Say, if it is, say, log, log base 7 of 2401 is equal to 4. So this is the log form, so I want to change this into exponent form. So this is 7 to the power 4 is 2401. So let us use a calculator. So this is 7 raised to 4 equals 2401. 